good morning everyone welcome back to my channel for those of you who don't know me I am KC and it is very early in the morning and it is coronation day so um just because it's coronation day I have to go into work extremely early because you know I'm a working adult so I still have to make my money so I'm going in really early so that I can get off a little earlier well not a little but so that I can leave to get the finishing touches done to get ready for coronation so it's um, 5 30 in the morning and I'm waiting on the bus to go to work I am thinking that I am nervous and excited and I was trying to figure out why I'm so nervous and um, I think I'm mostly nervous not for being on stage or having to speak or any of those things. I'm mostly nervous because um, I will be outside of my comfort zone. I, um, I don't know if you noticed in recent videos is that I cover and um, I dress more modestly. And it's not for necessarily religious reasons excuse me y'all I keep looking because I'm waiting for the bus <laughs> um, it's not necessarily for religious reasons I'm not Muslim um, I am a follower of Jesus Christ um, so I cover for personal reasons um, and I dress modestly for personal reasons for me it's more I feel security and peace and I feel more myself um, when I'm covered and the attention is not on my hair or my body but the attention is on me as a person I'm gonna take a pause y'all as I was saying um, I cover it's specifically my hair because um, I used to find that I would get a lot of attention for my hair and it wasn't negative attention it was just um, a little too much for me and for my comfort so um, I started to cover my hair and tonight my hair will not be covered it will be out and um, my dress is not modest it according to the theme that we're going with um, I am dressing accordingly and so with that that is where my nervousness comes in I don't want to be on stage jittery or insecure or anything like that because that would be disappointing not only for myself but for um, everyone that has worked to make this coronation a success and it's going to be a great show um, I don't want to um, disappoint anyone because we've all worked really hard for this day and it's finally here and there's a big truck going past me but this is what happens when you're outside <laughs> so that is um, what I'm doing so by the time you see this video it will be after coronation I will try as best I can to get um, videos of what I'm doing throughout the day but of course this day is just going to be kind of busy and I wanted to share my initial thoughts while I'm on the way to work to let y'all know I'm sorry I'm looking I was looking at my hair wrap I like that today <laughs> That's so random, y'all. Um, but so I hope you enjoy this video. And like I said, this is not the end of the video, but I am going to um, end this part and I will catch up with y'all in a couple of hours. Bye.
and always liking my posts on social media. <laughs> Specifically, thank you to my family that asked if they could vote for me, even though they didn't go to beauty <laughs> queen. Thank you to all my friends. Special thank you to the past Miss University of the District of Columbia 2017-2018, Taja Frank, yes. for supporting me and being my backbone Aww. through this whole process. Aww. You have been a great role model, and I'm so proud to come behind you. Thank you to my soror for cheering me on You're going to make me cry. Finally, thank you to the University of the District of Columbia, the faculty, administrators, teachers, and students. Thank you for creating an environment that not only welcomes non-traditional students, but embraces them, encourages them, and inspires them to reach their own goals. It is my true belief that I would never accomplish half of my achievements if I had attended another institution. Yes. The University of the District of Columbia has my support, my love, and loyalty. Forever a firebird. Girl.